Police say shot and killed his neighbor in a dispute is back behind bars after his bond was raised. Today, a judge raised Hector Campos's bail to $175,000. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard has been in court following these details all day. He's joining us now live from downtown Houston. Ryan? And you can imagine the family wants him to stay in jail. That's exactly where he is for right now after he was taken into custody way up there on the 14th floor. Hector Campos, the man accused of shooting and killing his neighbor, Anna Weed, goes directly from court back to jail after a judge revoked his $50,000 bond and then raised it to $175,000. Weed's husband rejoiced. Temporary relief of not having to worry about a murder running around. I can actually go in my backyard and not have to worry. The two are both still next door neighbors. Campo said he occasionally goes back to their spring neighborhood, but only with hired security. Neighbors said that they are the ones who live in fear. Anna Weed's mother lives not far away from her son-in-law. That man needs to be put in there forever. He killed my daughter in cold blood, you know. He didn't, she didn't give, they didn't give him a chance. He didn't give him a chance. She was just kneeling down, getting her dog, and he came and killed her and shot her in the heart. Virginia Montalvo testified in court that even Campos' own wife lived in fear and that she fled to escape him. She said the community was in danger. Campos' attorney said nothing new was presented in court. He hasn't done anything wrong on his current bond conditions, yet he's still, in my opinion, being punished for things that supposedly happened before the incident. The defense said it felt like a mini trial. The prosecutor said he carefully chose his questions. You don't want to tip your hand too much for the trial because ultimately the end game is to get a guilty in this particular case and put them away for good. Now, several other things coming out in court as well. Campo said he recently lost his job. He said he could soon lose his home. He said he could not afford this higher bond. We're live downtown. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Ryan.